morning. <laughs> I'm Paige Sevier, your natural makeup specialist for Woman Over 30. If you are new to my account, welcome. And today I am totally makeup free. I'm in my bathroom, bathrobe, just got out of the shower. And I wanted to break down my skincare routine and what I do to help soften fine lines and prevent wrinkles. <laughs> because I don't use Botox or filler or anything like that. I've never had that done. No shame if that's what you wanna do. That is just not what I want to do. And so I have always been more about a natural approach, kind of long-term results. So anyway, I'm gonna kind of show you my whole process. Um, so thanks for being here. Hi everyone. Okay, so first things first, obviously my morning routine is a little different from my nighttime routine. So I thought I would kind of show you what I do at nighttime and then jump into the morning routine. So at night, to remove my makeup, I double cleanse, always. I love double cleansing. Um, and I first cleanse with an oil cleanser. This is from the Daily Essential Co. All these products, by the way, are linked in my bio that I'm gonna talk about. So. I love this. It's a plant-powered oil cleanser, so it's clean, plant-based. Um, congrats on your fourth boy. Thank you. Thanks everyone, by the way, for all of you who've been so kind. Um, okay, so I just take a couple drops of this cleanser. I just put it into my hand and make sure my hands are clean. And then I just rub it all over. Obviously at night I would be removing makeup, but I just spend like a good couple minutes just kind of going in this circular motion and making sure I really am getting everything out of the skin. And if you have acne prone skin and you're nervous to use an oil-based anything, this is why I double cleanse because I found that I couldn't just cleanse with an oil cleanser. I needed um, something else. So I'll show you what I use next. So I do this first, rub it in really good, and then I take a clean, Microfiber, microfiber round or just a cloth and then I'll remove any of that excess. Go down the neck. Okay, and then my next step in cleansing at night. Normally in the morning I don't cleanse because once I get out of the shower, like I don't feel like my skin needs it and I don't wanna like strip my barrier too much. So. Then I will take this Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. I love this. This is a line specifically for acne prone skin. Um, and so I take this mud. I usually have a little bit of water on my face still, or I'll splash some water on my face. And I just do like a pump, rub that together, and then put this all over. Osea, if you're not familiar with the line, it's also a clean, um, like a plant-based baseline. I don't know if it's fully plant-based, but they use a lot of elements from the ocean, like seaweed and all that kind of good stuff. So this um, cleansing mud is should feel kind of like tingly. It's got like this pepperminty, I don't know, something to it. So I'll do that and then I will wash that off. I'm actually just gonna like mist my face real quick to get it wet take that same round and I will usually rinse that round off in water um, before I do this second step of removing the mud. And I just feel like it feels so good on my skin. It like freshens up my skin. It definitely has helped with my acne. My biggest problem, you guys, I will totally admit this. My biggest problem with my acne is me, like me picking at tiny little heads that don't need to be picked at. This one was, this one was, this one was like, that is 100% my problem. So I'm really trying to work on it. Um, but also I've struggled with acne since I was 15 and I have recently learned, this is really interesting. I recently learned that if you were someone who had strep a lot as a kid and you took a lot of antibiotics, which that was totally me. I had strep like every other month, I swear that um, that can actually like store into your liver and it can cause like acne prone skin as it stores in your liver. So I recently bought some new supplements to kind of help with the liver and just like some good probiotics, all that kind of stuff. Because a lot of times skin issues are really like internal issues, gut issues, etc. 
Um, so if I didn't pick in my face, <laughs> and I know once I kind of get a handle on my internal stuff, my, my skin really is in pretty great condition, um, aside from that. But anyway, I'm gonna do everything I can on the outside and the inside. So I do that double cleansing, and then at that point, I will do a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid um, combo. I get it from the Daily Essential Co. I actually just ran out, so I've been using just the hyaluronic C serum from Osea. Um, I like that one as well, but I prefer the one from the Daily Essential Co. So I'll do that, um, and then I will go in with a blemish balm and then like a restorative night cream from Dime. I recently started using some of these Dime moisturizers. I'll let you know what I think, but I love the Osea and the Daily Essential Co. Those are like my go-to lines. So in the morning, however, it's a little different because like I said, I'm not... Um, I'm not cleansing. Um, I'm just kind of mainly working on like the hydration skincare part of my routine. So let me kind of walk you through that. So in the morning when I get out of the shower, I will kind of open up my lymph because also a lot of issues that we experience in the face, like puffy under eyes, or even acne, just redness, a lot of that can be contributed to poor lymphatic drainage, which is also why exercising is like really good for you. It can also really help your skin. So I will kind of ma massage around my collarbone here, and I will also just kind of take my fingers and come down the sides of my neck and the back of my neck and just kind of get like that flow going before I start working on my face. So just kind of do that for a couple of minutes. And then I do a few facial exercises before I go into my gua sha routine because I don't want my skin to be slippery when I start putting an oil on my skin. So one exercise I've started incorporating is for smile lines and to just help plump the lips. And I can't really talk while I do this, so I'll try to explain it before I do it. But essentially you're just going to kind of take, if you kind of feel around the corners of your mouth, you have like this muscle that connects here and it can be kind of like meaty and knotty feeling. And so I'll just take my fingers and squeeze there and then massage around the lips. I'll show you how I did that. Hold on one second. Okay. So take fingers like this. Kind of see where I'm grabbing right there. And just kind of massage that. And then I move here as well. So that I do that a few times and just kind of massage around the mouth. You don't want to have oil on your face because it's really hard to do that. And then another exercise I've been doing is one to help lift the brows. If you have hooded eyes, this is a really, really great exercise. I am a big believer, you guys, I follow a few amazing accounts on just facial exercises in general that have completely reversed their hooded eyes. I have learned so much about hooded eyes and why so many people have hooded eyes. And the biggest part of hooded eyes is poor lymphatic drainage, puffiness, and also just like sleeping on our face you know, our, our um, fascia moving down. So one exercise I've been doing is I will take my finger, kind of hold here to hold the muscle, to not overly stretch my skin, and I will just squeeze the brow completely like this, if you guys can see, and then just look down and blink 10 times like that. And then I move, I just kind of move along and this just kind of helps lift the skin there. Okay, and then I will do the same thing on this side. Just kind of squeeze, blink 10 times each time, kind of hold the skin there, and then move through the brow. Okay, and then I also, when my hair's down, I will massage my scalp. So I do my lymphatic drainage, I massage my scalp, because what I have been learning, I've been learning so much, what I've been learning when it comes to wrinkles and just like, you know, hooded eyes and puffiness, like all of it is interconnected. Everything is connected, right? So if you have, you know, tense muscles or tense, um, if you're tense up in your scalp, 
it's going to, you know, make that skin come down. And so we always want to just kind of keep everything moving up and keep that circulation going. So massaging the scalp helps a lot too that way. So I will do that. And then at this point, I will take a little oil serum. I use the Jojo Bay oil serum from the Daily Essential Co. I also love their Skin Bay. Either one are great. I will take like just a few tiny drops, put that on my skin. And then at this point, I will go in with my Gua Sha. I don't wanna do like my full skincare routine yet at this point because I'm gonna be massaging my face and stuff and I don't want to, um, I'll do it afterwards. So I'm just gonna bring that down the neck, put it on the skin. And this is my Gua Sha tool. So one thing that's really important if you're just getting into facial exercises or Gua Sha is to not overdo it because if you overdo it, you can make yourself break out. Um, you can actually like make your skin issues worse. So you have to be really gentle and just start slow. Um, and you always wanna start um, with the neck area. And like I said, kind of the lymphatic, opening up the lymphatic area. So I'll just do a few passes down the neck and make sure with your Gua Sha tool that you're holding it almost flat. You don't wanna be, you know, like straight like this. You wanna come more down and you don't really need to press super hard. You can be very gentle on the skin. So I'll do that. Um, you know, usually five times kind of down the neck, get things going. But when you just start out, I suggest literally just doing one pass on everything. Just do one pass and then you can kind of build up from there so you don't overdo it with your skin. Then I will move on to the jawline. I just take the flat side here, kind of hold the skin, and then I do about five passes here. Same thing on the other side. I just wanna do this one side so you guys can see the difference. So I'll start with this and then I kind of turn it over to this little guy here. Again, keeping it very um, more flat towards the skin, coming this way. Do a few of those and then I come like this. So just slowly working up the face. I usually kind of like rock it like so, just kind of stimulates everything here. And then again, I'll turn it into this corner part and come right underneath the cheekbone. This helps just define the cheekbone. So do about five passes there. Coming up here. And then I will take the flat side here and come right up into the corner of the eye and then lift. Okay. And then I love to just kind of take the kind of pointed end here. I get a lot of tension in my brows. Do you guys have, okay, fill your brows. Do you have like these little crunchy spots in your brows? I get them and I'm sure it's just from stress and tension and maybe looking at my phone or screen or whatever. But I have, I have realized that I have this crunchy section in my brow and it's connected to this wrinkle that I have right here. I can always feel so much tension right where that wrinkle is in my forehead and I swear it's connected to this um, little pressure point here sinus point, whatever. So I just kind of take this in a circular motion and I just kind of massage it out. This Gua Sha can be for lifting and helping lymphatic drainage and it can also help release tension. So definitely work slow here. <laughs> like don't go too hard at it, but I've been doing this for a while. So I feel like I'm I'm used to it now at this point. So I'll do that. And then I'll just kind of smooth this way on the forehead, a few passes. And then I'll do a few passes up as well into the hairline. And then just kind of 
come right here in between the 11s. I don't know if you guys can see a huge difference there, but I always just notice like how lifted my face is. My skin is so sensitive. I touch it and it turns red. So just ignore that. But so that's kind of my process with my wide shot. And I do that obviously on both sides and just kind of get everything moving. And then I also kind of go back into my facial exercises where it's okay if my face is a little oily. Um, and I do just kind of work underneath the eyes a little bit more. This can help with dark circles, just doing this little movement. I'm getting the blood moving. And I just always bring everything up into the scalp and just kind of massage upwards like so, okay? Um, there's honestly, there's so many <laughs> little techniques and things that you could do when it comes to facial massage for smile lines, hooded eyes, dark circles, puffy under eyes. So I will have to share some of those accounts that I follow. But that's basically kind of my gua sha facial exercise routine. And then at this point, I will go ahead and finish my skincare. So I actually ran out of sunscreen. I need to get some more. So then I would usually put on my sunscreen, let that soak in for a minute. And then um, I will go in with my vitamin C hyaluronic serum. Again, I'm just using this Osea one for now because I don't have my other one, but I really love the one from the Daily Essential Co. Just a few drops of that. Rub that in really good. And I just kind of rub everything in in each step till I feel like it's really kind of soaked in. Always bring it down the neck and the chest if you can. And then from there, I will do um, my moisturizers. So I do this blemish balm again, just to help with my acne prone skin. You can actually get like this acne set from Osea. It's like, I think it's $60 and you get like a whole, everything you need for your acne set, just to kind of test it out and let's see if it's something that you like. So that's what I started with. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. I love this line. So the blemish balm is a little thinner. So I do that first over my oil serums. And then I do my thickest moisturizer. I mean, it's not super thick because it's a day cream, but I have been trying this dewy day cream from Dime. And I'm just gonna lock that in. You can see it's just a little bit of a thicker consistency. And then one of my favorite skincare products that I think is kind of like underrated <laughs> is a hydrating mist. If you have really dry skin and like you just kind of wanna rehydrate the skin through the process um, or throughout the day, I love the Sea Minerals Mist from Osea. So if throughout the day I just feel like my skin's feeling kind of dry, I'll just, Spray a few mists of that and it just feels so good. So I'm a big believer <laughs> in skincare and a lot of people will ask me like when I do my makeup videos, like I feel like your makeup just goes on so well. A huge part of having a really great looking makeup application is having a really good skin prep, skin routine. So again, I'm also just a huge believer in the facial exercises and the gua sha. I've noticed a difference, like not anything crazy dramatic. I've really only been consistent for like the last couple of months, but I do notice a difference and I can see how, you know, just doing those exercises over time will definitely make an impact. I do have to tell you something that's kind of wild. So my whole life, I have always had really just large um, lymph nodes on the sides of my neck. Like so much so that doctors would be like, whoa, that's kind of unusual. Um, and I, I just like, oh, I guess that's just like my genetics. Um, that's just what I have. Um, yes, these are lash extensions. I get them from Lashify. Um, anyway, 
And since I've been doing like really focusing on this lymphatic drainage stuff, I noticed the other day I was like, oh my gosh, those like nodules I've always had on my neck that have just always felt really big, they're like totally gone. They're totally gone. So I must just, you know, obviously have stored lymph there. I did have my tonsils removed. I've always had, I had major issues with my tonsils. So I think just, I've always had lymph issues. And so I've just been learning so much about lymphatic drainage and just doing everything that you can to really just keep your lymph moving and healthy. So anyway, that's my kind of natural skincare routine. I hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions, just feel free to message me and I will share, like I said, the accounts that I follow and I will link everything that I use in my stories as well. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.